day two here at Gold Cup. It's our night to race. It's a freaking furnace out here. It's 113 degrees. We drew a 20. I think there's only like 28 cars. So we're in the second hot lap group. And uh, got a little fire truck going by. Probably a small forest fire because it's so damn hot out here. But um, yeah, uh, I only got one GoPro on the car tonight, guys. Don't yell at me. I will have two GoPros in the car tomorrow night. But uh, yeah, 28 cars, second hot lap group. We gotta qualify in that top eight with how this format is. If you want a shot of getting locked in, you gotta be in the top eight qualifying. So we'll see what we can do, guys. Pretty uh, strong field of cars tonight, in my opinion. I think a little bit harder than night one. So we'll see if we get her done and uh, try to get another Chico win. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you after. Next on the Speedway from Watertown, Connecticut, the Houston Speedway, BillyMotley.com, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Luminous Chair Seat Transportation, number two of David Gravel. David Gravel in car number two won the opening night of last year's Gold Cup Race of Champions. First lap this evening is second quick at a 12, 388, 1, 2, 3, 8, 8. 16 appearances at the Silver Dollar Speedway for David Gravel. Second lap time is quick time. 196 12196 quick time for the number two of David Gravel. Craig Kinzer and DJ Neto bring the field to the green flag. Kinzer grabs the early race lead. Chase Johnson will look to the inside of Neto. Can he make the pass for second? They'll stay side by side down the backstretch. Neto second as they enter turn three. And now the madman coming after Johnson. Big time problems for Beeston. He is sliding over the banking out of turn number four. Fourth turn into the green flag. Little tap of the wall by Neto coming down the front straightaway. Chase Johnson down to the inside of the speedway. Craig Kitzer with the lead. Chase Johnson in second. Neto coming back after him as they race into turn three. Johnson right up on the cushion. DJ Neto right in the middle of the speedway. They stay nose to tail down the front stretch. Kerry Madsen looking a groove lower in one of two. We can't do anything with Neto there. And now David Gravel all over the madman as they roll into quarter number three. Just behind them, Spencer Baston in the sixth spot. One position out of the transfer. Madsen to the inside of Neto. A little touch of the left front wheel. A bad man as he made his way by. Your race leader is Craig Kinzer. Chase Johnson runs in the second spot. Third belongs to Kerry Madsen. DJ Neto fourth and David Gravel runs fifth. Now Gravel peaked to the inside. But now sideways, David Gravel nearly spins to a stop. He manages to hang on to the car, but that allows Spencer Baston to get by. Baston takes over the fifth and final transfer position. Now David Gravel with his hands full, trying to catch back up with the CJB Motorsports entry. This time by will be halfway. Five in the books, five to go in heat race number two. Green flag waving. Into turn one, David Gravel has the early lead. Challenged down low by the 21 S of Jesse Schlotfeld. Schlotfeld to the inside of Gravel. Slide job to take the lead. Jesse Schlotfeld leads the opening lap of the Michael Light Last Chance Showdown. Gravel trying to come back at him on the bottom of the speedway, but Schlotfeld has the top spot. Gravel right on his back bumper into quarter number three. David Gravel to the inside of the racetrack, but can't hold it down low. Schlotfeld continuing to show the way. Gravel second, William Fielding third, Joe Myers Jr. in the fourth and final transfer position. Myers some 15 car lengths ahead of fifth place Michael Ng. Coming your way from the Silver Dollar Speedway. Early lead belongs to Carson Macedo, Max Mitry keeping pace. Spencer Baston slides to the outside of Blake Carrick to take third. Carrick for the Dominic Sunsi fifth on lap number one, three wide for six. Jacob Allen, Robbie Price, and Shane Golubic. Allen gets the better of that deal. Caution, car spinning inside of turn number four. Green flag waving once again. Max Midry did a great job staying with Macedo to come back to the green flag. Macedo rips the top in one and two. Midry down low in second. Robbie Price around the outside to take the fourth spot away from Blake Carrick. And now Jacob Allen to the inside of the 38B. Carrick comes back at him on the outside of the racetrack with Jacob Allen. Racetrack has the fourth spot down the back straightaway. Price trying to come back at him on the high side. Top three on the top in three and four. Jacob Allen down low, the only driver in the top five on the bottom of the speedway. Allen to the inside, caution flag waves, car slowing on the back straightaway. Now we're flag conditions as they work their way out of the seafoam restart zone. Jacob Allen down low, Carson Macedo trying to roll the top of the speedway. He's got to run on Allen down the back straightaway. Spencer pacing up to third, Macedo looking for the lead out of turn four. He slides in the cushion, can't get there in time. Jacob Allen stays out in front. Blake Carrick has gotten by Shane Gollum and Carrick now up into the four spot in car number 38B. Now Carson Macedo is going to try to take a page from Jacob's playbook and roll the bottom in turns three and four, and he did it well. Back to the top side in one and two. Now he'll drive around Jacob Allen and back to the lead. Carson Macedo back to the lead, and now he'll protect the inside lane in turns three and four. Two lap cars between 
takes second place, and now Spencer based and down to the inside out of turn number four. He'll take second from Jacob Allen, who was forced upstairs by the slower traffic. Allen back to the inside out of turn number two. It can't quite get by based in there. Car side by side in front of Spencer based, and he has to go to the cushion to try to maintain second, but he bobbles there, and Jacob Allen slides back by. Jacob Allen now back into second. Two laps to go for Carson Racino. Based in and out on race for the second spot into turn number one. This time by, white flag will wave for Carson Messina. One lap to go. Jacob Allen pulling away from Spencer Paston for second. Back straightaway for the final time. Carson Messina inside lane in three and four. Down to the checkered flag. He'll win night two of the Gold Cup. Jacob Allen, a career best here with a second place run, and Spencer Paston finishes third. We need contestant one, number six. Number 14 and number 18. He raced number one. Come on up. Contestant one. I didn't get to do a review of last night for our prelim night. Started off really, really good. Was able to go second quick. Overall, that put us starting sixth in heat race number two. Five transfer. Was in fifth. Pretty much completely spun out, but kept going. And fell back to sixth and was not able to close on fifth and make something happen. So... Uh, missed the transfer, which completely killed our chances of getting locked in. Had to run the B, started on the pole, the B main, ran second. Uh, felt like the car wasn't too great in the heat, but felt like obviously I messed up. But in the B main, we didn't do much to the car, and it wasn't very good. So Cody and Trey went to work and changed a bunch of stuff on the race car, and had to start 22nd in the A main and was able to get uh, all the way up to 7th. So we were able to salvage our night with qualifying good and then having a solid finish in the A main. Uh, was really close to 4th there, really 4th to 7th. We were all pretty much nose to tail or side by side and uh, you know almost had a couple more spots. But overall a good rebound to pass 15 cars at Chico. That's not easy to do. and. Um, against pretty good competition so we start outside pole of heat race number three if we win that heat we are in the dash uh, if we run second we're 11th um, so on and so forth so we're gonna try really hard to get a good jump in that uh, heat race and uh, try to get in the dash guys so we'll uh, we'll talk to you when we get set up here in the pits and uh, a lot cooler day it's only like 94 instead of 109 so should be a nice night uh, tonight to race. Obviously, during the heat in the day, it's still going to be warm. But when that sun goes down, it's going to be really nice. We'll talk to you guys after. Thanks. All right, we're here. Final day, Chico Gold Cup. We got our heat race, hot laps, and heat races. Hopefully, we can win that heat and get into the dash. Definitely a lot cooler. It's about 90 degrees now. It feels way nicer, way more comfortable. So... Uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, don't feel the best, but uh, we're going to keep battling guys and see if we could get this thing in the dash and give ourselves a chance. Uh, if we run second, that'll put us 11th in the A main, so that's not bad, but definitely want to get in that dash, give, it, give ourselves another shot at the racetrack, so we will see what happens. Let's see we're here. Zach, how are you doing today, buddy? Doing great. Doing good? Looking great. I wish I would have made the bikini contest, but only the driver. Well, you blew your shot on the glow party. You chose the wrong night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This this guy wants to know if David's around here. But, yeah. yeah, you're on you're on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trey ran away. Trey seen the camera rolling. We got Rooster. We got Ripper the Flipper over there, ready to go. But uh, we're getting ready to go. I got some fans here. I got to go check them out and uh, get dressed.
spot. He had dropped way back in the field earlier in this one. Now he is coming forward. Yeah, even with some nose wing damage on the two, must have had contact early, maybe why he dropped to the back, but now looks like his car is coming alive and he's driving around back by these guys. David Gravel up to seventh now in car number two. Leaders approach the back of the field once again. It is Brad Sweet, the meat in the shark racing sandwich. The leader is Jacob Allen. Third is Logan Sweet. Slides Sheldon, but Sheldon comes right back at him on the inside of the speedway. David Gravel gaining ground on those two. And Jacob Allen pulling away in the front of the field. This time by there are five laps to go in the Gold Cup. All right, guys, it is 5.20 in the morning. Got to bed around 1.30, slept for three hours, had to hit get on the shuttle. And now we're at Sacramento Airport. The weekend is now over. We started second in our heat race, ran second, not much passing. And then after that, uh, we started 11th in the A main. On the first lap, a guy in front of me got all crossed up. I nailed him in the butt, uh, collapsed my wing, got it all crooked. The track got reworked, uh, so it was pretty wet. So the car was real tight early, lost a lot of spots, fell all the way back to 17th or 18th, nearly last, um, but never gave up. It was a 40 lap race. As the race went on, the car got better, got rolling really, really good around the bottom, and uh, got up into the top 10, uh, got to seventh, got to sixth, and then once we got to the top five, uh, everybody just ripped around the top and the bottom just wasn't in play there at the end so uh strong six from where we were you know probably legitimately past the most cars but um going backwards after where you start that doesn't count so um decent weekend sixth and seventh i believe after starting 22nd 11th so we passed some cars good in the a main just needed to put ourselves in better position uh but the first day that's on me for nearly spinning the thing out in the heat race so I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was hot. I haven't been home in a while, so I'm going home to see the pregnant wife. Uh, then I got the long drive uh, next week after Hanford uh, to Eldora. Uh, my new uh, t-shirt trailer truck uh, is in at Eddie Gillstrap Motors. So really excited to show you guys the new truck. Um, excited to see the wife. She's been working hard at home. This worked a 12-hour shift, and we're due in October. So. Um, she's uh, been holding down the fort and excited to see her and our family. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Ring the bell for notifications. Please subscribe. Thank you to all the California fans that came up. Glad to know that people from California are watching the YouTube videos and do enjoy them. So we'll keep that up, guys. Thank you. See ya.